tisk, 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 my darling. You think because you have youth on your side that you have all the seduction oozing out of your youthful skin. But you think that seduction is cleavage and booty. Oh, no, 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 my darling. No, 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 no. Things for small girls, small little babies. Seduction is so much more than that. You think that with so many boobs and bums and thighs walking around, that yours are enough. Oh, they could never be enough. <laughs> never. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up, cause I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey, beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapana Shimange, and this is How I Do Things, the show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how. I would do things now you can take it as advice or use it as entertainment use it don't use it do with it what you will I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes now we've spoken about flirtation before we've spoken about how it is and how playful it is but many times people actually confuse flirtation and seduction and these two things levels apart now flirtation is playful it is a behavior that lets someone know that you like them. It's nice. It's light. Basically, it's an entry level of seduction. Yes, flirtation can be part of seduction, but flirtation is not seduction at all. Seduction is way levels above that. Flirtation is open. It is playful. You're letting the person know that I like you and that person can flirt with you back, right? But seduction, my honey, completely different. Seduction is influence. Seduction is a thing that you can have to make your man be wrapped around your pinky. Seduction, sex is on the table, leading the man to a sexual act. But it's not just that. It is so much more levels of things that happen. So if you want to know how to influence your man, how to raise the stakes, how to make him fall at your knees, then this is the video you need to watch because this is all about the art of seduction. Entry level, because it's the basics. Because this thing, it dip, 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 dip. But once you know how to seduce your man, how you know to influence him, you can get him to do almost anything and everything you want him to do. Some people say it's a form of manipulation, but I think it's a form of making our sex lives interesting of influencing our men to think that we are the best women in their lives so that they have eyes for no one else but us. We're getting into seduction in a second. Now, if you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram and look for this picture right here. It is in my Insta story highlights. All you have to do is go to my page at Kopana Shimangets on my homepage and you will see the how I do things little circle. Click on it and you'll find this picture. Reply and let me know what topic you want me to touch on. Now we're going to be going deep into the seduction thing over a couple of videos because I think this is, whew. guys, whether you have a flat chest, no bum, you could have, your bum is supposed to be like this, but your bum is like, shoo, shoo, pa. doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how you're looking, boo. Seduction is so much more. Whew. I'm so excited. Let's get into this. Number one, Seduction is the highest form of influence. Now, when you are seducing someone, you are causing them to act and respond in specific ways. It is something that renders the receiver completely powerless. Flirtation is light, it's fun, right? So with flirtation, it is the power to give over a sexual energy or a positive energy to someone and you want to receive it back. But with seduction, it renders the receiver powerless. It is power that you have over someone. Power to make them act in a specific way because you're influencing them. But with flirtation, it is power that you share. I flirt with you, you flirt with me back. It's a shared power. But with, with seduction, that form of influence, the other party, powerless. 
Number two, seduction is something that both men and women can do. Now let's be honest, when you start to think of seduction, you're thinking of a woman, she's curvaceous, and she's wearing this nice tight bodycon dress, she's got her clivava, red lips, all of those things. Because that's what we've been led to think that that is what seduction is, that it is all physical. Hmm. But let me tell you something. Seduction is something that both men and women can do. Men are seducing women left, right, and center all the time, but we're not actually categorizing it as seduction. So let me see. So basically in Ocean's 13, if you've ever watched Ocean's 13 with Matt Damon and the Silver Fox, all of those guys, right? In Ocean's 13, there's a scene where Matt Damon seduces one of the casino managers. So everybody's shocked that why must we choose this guy? I mean, Brad Pitt is also there and you're thinking to yourself, Matt Damon? So they choose him because he knows the art of seduction. So what he does is that he shapes his nose in a specific way. He wears specific clothing and he acts in a specific way. So he puts on an accent because he knows that these things will render this woman powerless. She will be falling at his feet because he knows that these are things that she finds completely irresistible but on top of that he wears a specific perfume that they call the Gilroy now the Gilroy as they say in the movie is a specific pheromone that basically influences the opposite sex so as you can see he's done things with how he carries himself how he looks, how he smells, all of those things, he's put them together and she's just falling at his feet. So men and women seduce each other all the time. Men usually go to the gym, not for themselves, but for women. Men wear certain things, they drive certain cars because they're all part of their seduction act. And as women, we have so much more at our display and our disposal that boobs and bums is not enough and it's not it so much more to the game i'll tell you now now number three seduction is about winning it's about having power over someone and getting them to do exactly what it is that you want them to do it renders the other person powerless it is slow it is subtle but it is effective as hell super effective you, always, you don't always see it coming. You're being seduced and you don't even know it. You are bending at a person's will and you're not really sure why. Sometimes people can pick up on seduction, but even if they do, they still go with it because it's something that they actually want. But flirtation on the other hand is something that you want to see. You want the other person to see that I am flirting with you because you want that person to flirt with you back. But seduction on the other hand, it's not something we share. It's not something that is always seen. It is an undercover agent that is working behind the scenes, working subtly, but it's still working. Number four, seduction requires a high level of self-awareness and an intelligence over your man or the person that you're trying to seduce. So you want to study him. You want to know him in and out. You want to try different things and look at his behavior. If I wear this, how does he act? If I have this perfume on, how does he act? You want to always see the cause and effect of everything that you are doing, using everything you have to your disposal. Now remember, it's not just about how you dress or how you smell or how you do your makeup or what color lipstick you wear. It is also about your behavior. Now, one of the most classic stories of seduction is about Cleopatra and how she seduces men. And one of the ways she was able to wrap a man around her pinky was to make him happy, to laugh at every single one of his jokes, to say that I will be the happiest amongst this man. No other woman will be as happy as I am with this man. If you choose all day, every day for seven days and you say i'm going to be so happy with this man i'm going to give him levels of happiness that he has never seen with anyone else he has an exclusive level of happiness 
that access of happiness with me, that is a form of seduction. Because he will feel as though he has that ability with you. It will set off a feeling in him. Happiness is contagious, right? He will feel as though he has power because he's able to release a certain level of happiness with you that he, no one else can unlock with you. By giving a man power or making him feel like he has power to do certain things, to make you feel certain ways, that is a form of seduction. Isn't that strange? Giving a man the impression of power is a way that you seduce him. Making him feel like no one else knows you more than he does. Making him feel like no one else can make me laugh the way that you do. No one else can make me feel as sexy as you do. Gives him a power that he cannot find with any other woman. And that is seduction. So seduction, there's levels to this thing. What he smells can set off certain emotions. What he sees on you can make him feel certain ways. Seduction is deep, 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 deep. But requires self-awareness, knowing what you have at your disposal, right? Other things that women do is making a man feel as though you feel protected with him is a way of seduction. I'm going to get into it. My point is, you need to be very self-aware. What do you have at your disposal? What can you use? Lay out all of your weapons of mass destruction and test every single one of them, big and small, all of them. And then you need to study your man, gain an intelligence over him, knowing that when I do this, he acts like that. When I do this, he acts like that. When I do this, then this will actually definitely get him to do this. When I do this, he fights against me a little bit because that is what seduction is, the power to influence. And you know exactly which buttons to push to get your man to act in a specific way. And number five, seduction is an extremely deliberate process of raising your status in the eyes of someone else. What do I mean by status? Through seduction, through influence, through knowing yourself and knowing your husband so well, you can make him think and make him believe that you are the most irresistible human being walking this earth, that you cannot be compared to any other woman emotionally, physically, intellectually, all of it, physically, you cannot be compared because you understand yourself and you understand him and you know how to make him think of you in that way, raising your status, that you are the top human being in his world. In his mind, there's no other woman that could compare to you because you understand the art of seduction. Now, remember I said that seduction is something that both you and your husband can do. Seduction is meant to be enjoyed at every step of the process. It is about enjoyment. The other party who has been seduced enjoys every minute of it, every second of it, the taste, the feel, the smell of seduction. So if you both know the art of seduction, the art of being the best human beings in each other's minds, that your man, no other man can compare to yours, that there's no man who can make you feel the way that your man makes you feel because he understands the art of seduction. And the same for you, that no other woman can be compared to you because you know how to seduce your man. Seduction is ever evolving. It is rich in texture and in feel. It has levels and many tactics to it. It's something that always evolves. As you change and he changes, seduction changes. So no matter if you lose all your youthful glow, you can still make your man believe that you are the most irresistible woman in the world. So take your time, honey. Learn this thing. Dive deep into seduction. Try it because it is the most impactful thing that you can have in your relationship. We'll get into that a little bit more with more videos coming up on the art of seduction, because this, I 
this deserves a master's actually a phd dedication to the specific topic now i'm going to continue to unpack this thing of seduction because woo, your man will not know what hit him he'll be happier he'll feel better he will feel like this he's got the best woman in the world that honestly he hit the jackpot with you but remember that seduction is something that both you and your man can do so there will be a few videos that will be for both you and for him at the same time but we're going to continue to unpack this thing because we're going to become powerful beings because of our understanding of seduction now your challenge for the week should you choose to accept is this you need to unlock level one of seduction and it is a simple thing if you can get down to the truth you need to find out start by asking your man what was it that sealed the deal for him intellectually physically mentally what were the things that made him choose you and once you find that out you will have unlocked level one of seduction next week we move on to level two that's it for today i hope that you guys enjoyed this one i am ripped and ready for the seduction game until next time beautiful people thank you so much for watching my videos and thank you so much for supporting my channel don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and don't leave without subscribing because i know you've been binge watching huh Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Kapana Shimange and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching and thank you for making it right until the end. If you have not made it to my website yet, here is the address. Head over there and you'll find some amazing resources that you can download and maybe a few extra details that you may not know from the videos. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on my face right here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.